What's up, what's up, mi gente? Happy Friday! Welcome to That's Right, the only trivia game that gives you not one but two to win some moolah in this beautiful Friday night. And tonight we're giving away $2,000. I hope that you guys are excited too. We have about 7,000 people on tonight. Myself, I am Coach Cesar Camacho. I'm gonna be your trivia daddy for the next uh, probably 12 15 minutes or so. We're gonna try to move on super quickly with this, see if we can uh, give you guys some money. I hope that you guys are excited. Now, let me tell you how this works. We're going to ask you 10 time questions, all right? Whoever answered 10 questions correctly at the end wins the game and walks away with the trivia prize, which is a thousand dollars for the trivia winners. Now, let me tell you this. Every time that you answer a question correctly, you get a ticket over here in the corner, all right? So even if you get a question wrong, do not jump off the game. You can keep earning the game. Our super duper Betsy, the ball machine, is going to give away $1,000 to one lucky winner. So we give $1,000 to the trivia, $1,000 to the uh, drawing winner, and do not jump off because then if you do, you forfeit all your tickets. I hope that you guys are ready because we're going to hit the ground running with question numero uno. You ready? Let's go. Food and beverage. What cut of meat is used for making bacon? Bacon. Is it pork belly? Is it loin of beef, pork ribs, or leg of lamb? Shout out to Jessica in Sweden. We got people playing in Sweden? What? I'm, I'm stunned. All right, pork belly is the correct answer for that question number one. Now, let me give you fun facts so you get to choose the next uh, category. Uh, let me give you some fun facts about uh, bacon. It dates back to about 1500 BC. The Chinese were actually cooking salted pork bellies more than 3,000 years ago. How about that? The first bacon factory opened in uh, 1770. And, super fun fact, Bacon helped make explosives during World War II. 6,300 of you guys got that one right. Moving on to question two. Let's do it. What is the height of the sea surface generally called? Is it elevation? Is it oil shell? Is it sea level or is it form? Big shout out to Brody M in Canada. We got all kinds of people overseas. Shout out to all of our friends in Canada. Sea level is the Sea level is actually the average level of the surface of one or more of the Earth's from which heights such as elevation, 
might be measured. So that is the correct answer. C level, 6,617 of you guys got that one right. Moving on to question three. This is our social media question. So if you're not following us on social media, you're missing out. Because we give you clues and we give you hints in uh, Facebook and Instagram and Twitter, Snapchat. Um, what is the other one? The one that you swipe right. Uh, so remember to follow us on social media. Food and beverage on question three. What kind of cheese is usually found on pizza? American cheese, mozzarella cheese, Swiss cheese, or cheddar. Big shout out to Damien Bikes in Marmora, New Jersey. What's up? How you doing, my New Jersey friend? Right answer, pizza. What a better answer. Pizza is made with mozzarella cheese. Fun facts about pizza. Americans order 350 slices of pizza every second. Did you hear me? Every second. Americans also eat about 200 million pounds of pepperoni on pizzas every year. And another fun fact, Saturday is the most popular night to eat pizza. So I'm coming over tomorrow. Question four, music, Let It Go, is a song from which 2013 animated feature film? Is it Frozen, The Smurfs 2, Epic, Despicable Me, or uh, Despicable Me 2? The correct answer is, of course, Frozen. I mean, when you've been living under a rock, let it go, let it go, let it go, won the Academy Award for Best Original Song at the 86th Academy Award that took place on March 2nd, 2014. Seven, 7,110 of you got that one right. How did I know that you guys knew your movies? All right, before I ask you question number five, watch that video. Cookie people, cream people, crumbs people, clean people, twist people, lick people, dunk people, munch people. It's on the plate, people. If you twist, lick, dunk, then you're my people. We are Oreo people. I'm actually eating an Oreo. What is the best selling cookie in the world, baby? Huh? Tell me. Is it, uh, I'll give you a clue. It's the one that I'm eating right now. I hope that my gym members don't see me eating cookies because we're supposed to be on a nutritional plan. <laughs> Oreo is the correct answer. Now I got my face all full, full, full of Oreos. More than 450 billion Oreo cookies have been sold since their debut in 1912. How about that? There's no limit to the deliciousness of an Oreo. It's amazing. 7,286 of you guys. A big shout out to all our friends at Oreo for that one. Question six, here we go. Movies, who was the lead actress in the 1997 movie Titanic? Was it Gloria Stewart, Helen Hunt, Kate Winslet, or Liv Taylor? Brody M again in Canada. We got people in Canada playing all over the place. Kate Winslet is the correct answer, Kate Winslet. She was born in October of 1975 in the United Kingdom. Uh, she was the lead in the 1997 film Titanic, which was bought, has brought a total box and listen to this outstanding 2.2 billion dollars is the box office that Titanic has brought so far. 6,600 of you guys got that one right. Moving on, question seven. Who was He Man? Sanctum. Big shout out to Lainey Libet in West Monroe, Louisiana, was the first one to answer that one. Excalibur. Correct answer. Some of you kids don't know who Skeletor is. Some of you kids don't know who He-Man is. But if you're a kid from the 90s and the 80s, you know who He-Man is. It was first aired in 1983. It featured Skeletor. Now, let me tell you a fun fact. The Skeletor uh, episodes of He-Man that feature Skeletor were never broadcasted in France because this space was be terrifying for children's television. Question eight. We got two more to go. Keep answering and keep earning those tickets. Here we go. Geography. What is the capital of Costa Rica? Costa Rica, is it Santa Cruz, San Jose, San Juan, or Limon? Brody M and Crystal M in Canada are jumping on that one. What's up with our Canadian people answering first? San Jose is the correct answer with a population of approximately 339 and a half thousand people. San Jose is the capital of Central America country, Costa Rica. Uh, fun fact, Costa Rica, main source of, of income and uh, foreign exchange is tourism. 2,491 got that one right. We still have a thousand of you guys in the trivia game. Two more questions. Let's see how we go. Celebrities, 
How many seasons, for how many seasons did Jennifer Aniston star in the sitcom Friends? 9, 11, 7, or 10? Scotty B in Mangan, Louisiana, and P. Jet Words in Afghanistan. Did you guys just hear me? Somebody's playing in Afghanistan right now. What's up, people in Afghanistan? The correct answer is 10. 10. Um, born in uh, February of 1969 in Los Angeles, California, Jennifer Aniston played. part in the show, Courtney Cox, who played, uh, is reportedly Jennifer Aniston's best friend in real life. So the friends are friends. 2054 of you guys got that one right. We got one more to go. Let's see who walks away with some money. Business. What is the name? What is the name of Tony the Tiger's daughter? I bet you money that you did not know that Tony the Tiger had a daughter. Is it Tony, Tammy, Antoinette, or Tigra? <laughs> I bet you that you didn't know this. It's Antoinette. He actually does have a daughter. Tony the Tiger was given full Italian-American nationality in the 70s. And consumers were briefly introduced to the Tony family. It was Mama, Tony, Mrs. It was Mrs. Antoinette, and he also has a, a, a son, Tony Jr. I didn't know that. 957 of you guys got that one right. I told you that you didn't know that Tony had. All right, now. You get to choose now. If you answer all 10 questions correctly, you get to choose either push through or cash out. If you decide to push push through, I'm going to ask you another question. Every to answer, everybody gets an option for the ticket, but only the ones that get the questions correctly so far get to choose. And you choose to push through. Question 11. Movies. What was the name of Bill Paxton's character in Aliens? Aliens. Is it Aliens? Aliens. Gorman, Hicks, the Drake, or Hudson. Uh, we got Joshua Odom in Delhi, Louisiana. Answered that one first. The correct answer, Hudson. Released on July 14, 1986 by director James Cameron. With a budget of only $18.5 million, Alien has brought a total box office of $183 million. How about it? All right, now you get to choose again. You either want to push through or you want to cash out. What you going to do? What you going to do with the comfort? You get to cash out, baby, and we got winners. Congratulations, 172 of you guys walk away with $5.81. Doesn't get any better than that. A couple of bucks for tank of gas. It's adding up if you keep on playing. Now, before we move on to Betsy's Ball Machine so we can pick a winner of $1,000, I'm going to give you a chance to get some extra tickets with the bonus. Yeah. All right. Let me tell you the rules of the bonus. Only the fastest to answer the Question, get the tickets. So, are you ready? Pass fingers. Here we go. Bonus questions. How many tickets do you receive if you refer a friend? That's right. One, two, three, four, one hundred. I'll give you a clue. It's not one, it's not two, it's not three. So, but you gotta be quick. Now, if you answer the uh, the quickest, you get the extra ticket over here in the top. Now, what's gonna happen? We're going to use all those tickets that you just earned and we're going to send to Betsy the Ball Machine. She's going to pick another winner and that person is going to walk away with another $1,000. To do that, we need you to do two things for us. Number one, tell everybody about our game. Refer all of your friends and tell everybody about our game. We need to double the 7,400 players right now. We need double that, all right? So tell everybody about our game. Number two, go to the Google uh, Store and App Store and Google Play and uh, give us five stars, rate us five stars. That's the way that we stay relevant. The more that we stay relevant, the more players, the bigger the prices. So that's my money that we can give you. All right, so remember that. Now all your tickets are gonna populate right here in the bottom. You ready? And we're gonna send it to Betsy the Ball Machine and she's gonna pick a winner of a thousand dollar ruse. It's a beautiful Friday evening. Here we go, Betsy. Shakalaka. Here we go. Betsy, show me the first number, baby girl. First number is a one. Show me the next one. It's a zero. So we have a one and we have a zero. Next number. Five. One, zero, five. Next one, Betsy. What is that, a nine? Yep. 
One zero five nine. Two more numbers to go. Seven. Now, if you are around the people that got that last number, I need you to pull your phone and take a video. We have somebody in uh, Sai Sai, Chiang Mai, in Harvey, Louisiana, Monroe, Louisiana, Fresno, California, Crossed, Arkansas, Kearney, New Jersey. I need you to pull your phone and send us a video of the winner. We're going to give you some tickets if you send us that video. Here we go, Betsy. Pick a winner. That's a nine. One, zero, five, nine, seven, nine. We have a winner. Congratulations to our big winner tonight, HCS Hollow in Monroe, Louisiana. Walks away with $1,000. Congratulations to the whole 172 of you guys that walk away with $5.81. All of our winners uh, tonight. Congratulations. Thank you guys so much for playing. Before we let you go, remember to follow us on social media. Remember to tell everybody about our game. We're going to see you back here on Sunday with the next game and the only trivia game that gives you two chances to win. I'm Cesar Camacho and this is That's Right!